Let's sit in our chairs and find a comfortable pose. Rest your back against the back of the chair. And have your hands facing down on your thighs or facing up. I always mention if you face your palms down, that's more for grounding. And if you place your palms facing up, you want to keep a little bit more. So just see what your body needs, what you need today, and see what is comfortable. So listen to that. You're going to gently close your eyes here. And you're going to start to focus on your breath. Just take a few deep in-breaths through the nose. Always breathe in through the nose. And you can exhale through the mouth or nose. Take two deep breaths in and out. If you need more, you take more. And then you're just gonna observe your natural breath, the way you breathe normally. And you're gonna turn your focus on your body and see how your body feels today. Just see if you can sense anything, any discomfort, like sensations, you can sense any holdings. So see what it is there in your body today. Any tension that you feel. And just breathe into that. Let the breath move into those spaces. And with the exhale, let the exhale take that discomfort, take that holding, and just ease more into your body and feeling more relaxed. Focusing on the present moment, this beautiful moment that we have, all that we have is just this present moment. And just breathe into that. If any emotions come up, it's okay. Observe them and keep breathing. Get your focus back on your breath. If any thoughts wander into your mind, just observe them as thoughts. You can name them. Yes, there is a thought in my mind. And then start focusing back on your breath. And the breath is there for us to bring us back to the present moment because we always need to breathe. Without the breath, we wouldn't be here. So the breath is going to be always there. Take another deep breath through the nose or two, lifting your chest up with the breath, feeling your lungs. And with the exhale, you're gonna to start to gently move the feet, the fingers. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes. We're gonna sit up tall so your back is no longer leaning against the chair. But anytime if you get tired, if it's too hard for you to keep up your spine, then you can rest, okay? So for now, let's sit up tall and find our correct posture. So ears align with the shoulders, shoulders align with the hips, okay? So keep breathing here, feel that lift in your spine. You can even tuck the belly in a little bit to support your spine. And take two breaths in this pose that's called mountain pose. In your correct posture and with the exhale, release. We're gonna start warming up the joints. So your next inhale, you're gonna lift up both arms in front of you. You're gonna to start to make circles with your, <clears throat> with your wrists, one direction. Keep breathing through the nose, the breath is always there. And you're gonna pause and reverse the movement. You can always bend the elbows, relax the elbows a little bit, or you can always stretch the arms. If you want to work with the arms too, while you do the wrist warm up. And release the arms by your side. Roll the shoulders a few times. Keep breathing through the nose. 
And now we're gonna lift up the hands again, the arms, and you're gonna close the hands in fist and open and spread the fingers. Next, when you close the hands in your fist, have the thumb in the palm, okay? And then close your wrists. And squeeze like you're holding your thumb, yeah? like you have your thumb and you're holding your thumb, you're squeezing your thumb in your hands, okay? And now open and spread the fingers. And let's do two more. Close the hands, but have the thumbs in first, and then feel the thumbs in your hands. Inhale, and exhale, spread the fingers, open them up, then one more time. Close the hands in tight fist, holding the thumb, and exhale, open it up, and release your arms, shake the hands. And you can wiggle your arms a little bit, shake it up, shake up everything that's not needed in the body, Imagine you're shaking up all the weight from your back, from your shoulders. Always, always, always let go everything that you don't need. Rolling the shoulders a couple of times with the inhale, lifting the shoulders up. Exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale, the shoulders coming up. Exhale, back and down. You're going to have your hands on your thighs. I'm gonna work a little bit with the neck too. So you're gonna to start to turn the head to the right with the inhale. And exhale, turn the head back to the center. Inhale here in the center and exhale, turn the head to the left very slowly. Inhale here and on your exhale, turn the head back to the center. Now you're just gonna turn the head from side to side very slowly. You're welcome to close the eyes here if that feels better. And just very, very slowly, as slow as you can, turn your head from side to side. Keep breathing to the nose. And on your next inhale, you're gonna pause. Open your eyes. And now you're gonna feel the head to the right. Inhale. And on your exhale, lift the head up. Inhale here. And on your next exhale, you're gonna feel the head to the left. Inhale, head comes up to the center. And now you're gonna do the same. Just gonna tilt the head from side to side very slowly. You're welcome to close the eyes here if that helps you better, if it's better. Sometimes you can get dizzy. So see what works better for your body. If you like to do the head tilting with the eyes open, do so. If it feels better with the eyes closed, do so. Do slowly, you're warming up the neck joint here. And on your next inhale, lift up the head and gently open the eyes. Next neck movement, you're gonna tilt the head down and tuck your chin. Inhale, lift the head up. And exhale, tilt the head down. And back up to the center. Now we're gonna do the same movement. We're not gonna drop the head back, okay? You can look up, but keep the head straight. Don't drop the head back because the cervical spine, it's not very happy when we do that, okay? So you can close the eyes if you want to. Otherwise, you're just gonna feel the head gently down and back up to the center, okay? And you can do this with closed eyes or open eyes. See what works better for your body. A few more. And on your next inhale, just lift your head up and open your eyes. Okay, we're gonna move to the shoulders. So place the hands on top of your shoulders. And you're gonna start to breathe. And with the inhale, you're gonna lift the shoulders, the elbows up and exhale back and down. We are making circles with the elbows to warm up the shoulder joints. So with the inhale, you're lifting up the elbows and exhale back and down. This circle can be big or very small. Just listen to your body, what your body needs. This circle can be very, very subtle, small movement. Try the small movement, or if it feels good, you can do a bigger movement where you open your elbows and bring the elbows all the way down and all the way in the front. See what works better for you today in this moment, okay? We're gonna pause here and we're gonna reverse the movement the opposite direction. And at any time, if you get tired, please pause and rest. Listen, listen, listen to whatever your body needs, okay? And on your exhale, release the arms. And again, you can shake it up a little bit. 
Shake the hands. With the next inhale, we're gonna lift up right arm only. You're gonna place the palm facing up. And with the inhale, you're gonna bend the elbow and place the hand on your shoulders. Be warming up the elbow here. Inhale, open the hand, stretch the arms. And exhale, bend and touch your elbow. Inhale, stretch your arms out. Exhale, bend the elbow. And lower the hand down, the arm down by your side. Again, you can wiggle that arm a little bit. And we do the other side. Inhale, lift left arm up, the palm is facing up. And with the exhale, you're gonna bend the elbow and touch your shoulder. Inhale, stretch the arm. Exhale, bend. Inhale, one more time, stretch the arms and exhale, bend the elbow, touch your shoulder and gently lower the hand down. You can shake it up. And now we can do with both arms. Let's lift up both arms. And place both hands on your shoulder. Exhale, open the arms out. Inhale, bend, touch both shoulders. Exhale, stretch the arms out. Inhale, bend. And exhale, lower the arms by your side. You can shake the hand, roll the shoulders. Okay. <clears throat> now you're gonna have the feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Come a little bit closer to the edge of the chair. And we're gonna do our cat and cow pose to warm up the spine. So with the cow pose, you're gonna inhale and tilt your pelvis forward and open up your chest. You can look straight up, or if it feels good, you can look up, but don't drop the head back, okay? And on your exhale, you're gonna tilt the pelvis back. You can keep the spine straight. If it feels good, you can arch the spine, but only if you don't have any upper back issues. I'm gonna show you from the side, so how this works. So sitting up tall with the inhale, tilting the pelvis forward, moving my chest, opening my chest, I'm looking straight or up. And on my exhale, I can just move the pelvis back and keep the spine straight, or I can arch my back and looking down to my navel. See what works better for your spine, okay? You're gonna do a few cat and cows on your own with your own breath. So with the inhale, you're tilting the pelvis forward, opening the chest, looking straight or up, and with the exhale, moving back, looking down to your navel, or just tilting the pelvis back and keeping the spine straight. So see what works for your body. You can always close the eyes here and go very slow at your own pace, feeling all your vertebrae. Feeling the movement in your spine. It's like a wave moving up your spine. You don't have to push to the edge. You can just do a very subtle movement here just to feel the vertebrae. So listen, listen, listen to your body. All the movements we do, they should feel really good in your body. If they don't feel good or if it's painful, please stop. You went too far. A good cue always to see if you can take a deep breath in the pose, then the pose is right for you. Otherwise, you push yourself too far. On your next inhale, come up and pause. You can keep the eyes closed. And turn your focus back on your body. See if you can sense any changes in the body. Any new movements, any new sensations. See if you can feel anything here after a few poses, poses we did, after a few warm-ups. We warmed up the upper body joints and you should see if you can sense anything, if anything changed. Keep breathing through the nose while you pause here. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. <clears throat> If you get tired, as I said, always rest and drink some water. Hopefully you have some water next to you and do that. Listen to the body. Okay, we're gonna go and move down to the hip area. So on your next inhale, you're gonna lift up the right leg and you're gonna fold the leg under the knee. You can also interlace the hands if that's easier for you to hold the leg. But while you're holding the leg, it's gonna be easier to start to make circles with the leg. If you're interlacing the fingers, it's gonna be a little bit more harder. So just hold the leg gently and start to make circles with your knee one direction. 
perhaps you don't need the, the, the hands, perhaps your knees are pretty strong and your tie is pretty strong, do that. But this can be hard on your lower back. So just to push yourself, it's not worth it, okay? Listen to the body. If it feels good, do it. Otherwise, just help yourself, it's okay. On your next exhale, you're gonna place that foot down, squaring your hips. Both sitting bones are equal in the chair. And we do the left side. Inhale, lift left leg up, pull the leg under the knee. And start to make circles with the left knee. We are opening the hip joint. We are bringing a little movement in the hip joint. So the circles can be bigger or smaller. Again, what your body needs, listen to that. Pause and reverse the movement. And always listen to the body because I can't feel your pain. I can't sense your struggles, only you. So if you feel hard something and you get tired, please pause. Lower the foot down, square your hips. And now we're gonna come back a little bit closer to the back of the chair so the thighs are more supported. And you're gonna inhale and lift up the right leg. And you can start making circles with the right ankle, one direction. The leg doesn't need to be lifted high up. Just so you can make the circles. Warming up the ankle joint. Pause and reverse the movement. Keep breathing through the nose. And now you're gonna point those toes and flex the foot. Point the toes and flex point and flex. One more time, point and flex. Then lower that foot down, square your hips. And we're gonna do left side. Inhale, lift up left leg. Start to make circles with the left ankle. One direction, keep breathing through the nose. Feel that ankle joint warming up here. Gonna pause and reverse. Breathe, breathe to the nose while you're doing your little movement here. And then point the toes, flex the foot, point the toes, flex, point, flex, point, and flex. Okay, place that foot down, square your hips. If your thighs feel a little bit um, tight, you can do a little massage. Just press the the balls of your palms, the bottom of your palms into your thighs to massage the tension out. And you can also close your hands in the fist and pat, pat, pat your thighs. This feels really good, releasing the tension from the thighs. And now you can massage the knees, feel the warmth of your hand, it feels good. It's such a simple little massage, but it's so beautiful. My body really loves it. My knee is very happy when I do this. Okay. Now we're gonna do a, a round of stand salutation, a little breath and movement. It's a little movement cycle that we adjusted from the regular stand salutation. They do this stand salutation at the beginning of yoga practices as a warm up. And it's really to increase the blood flow and flexibility and it's like a meditation. So have the feet hip distance apart a little bit wider and have the arms by your side. And with the inhale, you're gonna lift both arms up. On your exhale, you're gonna start to lean with your body over your thighs. You're gonna get the belly closer to the thigh. We're not rounding the spine. The hands gonna pause on the knees. And you're gonna look down here, you can pause here. This is folding halfway. Stay here if you have any issues with your lower back, any osteoarthritis or pain, just stay here and keep breathing here. If you have no issues in your lower back, you're gonna slide the hands down and get the belly, touch the thigh. And you can also touch your toes, say hi to your toes. The spine is straight. We're not rounding the spine here. And you can just drop the head. If you're all the way down here, you can drop the head. Otherwise, if you're halfway up, stay there. You don't drop the head. If you drop your head, you can shake the head from side to side, saying yes, yes, and no, no. Very gently, very slowly to release the tension from the neck. 
way to the now. On your next inhale, you're gonna slide your hands all the way up on top of your thighs and help yourself lift up from the belly, sitting up tall. Take a deep breath here, inhale. On your next inhale, you're gonna lift both arms up and lean forward. We're not touching the thigh here. We're just leaning forward a little bit. Feel the strength in your arms. You're looking down, the shoulders are dropped and engage the belly to support your lower back. This is your downward facing dog or V pose. On your exhale, both hands on your thighs and come sit up tall. Next inhale, lift up the right leg, hold the leg under the knees and bring the knees as close as to the body as possible. Of course, you're again listening to your body. If this is not possible, then you just lift up the leg. If it's possible to bring it close by, you have no issues, then do so. Exhale, place the foot down. We're gonna do Cobra. Close both hands at the, end, uh, at the side of the chair. You're gonna press the hands into the chair. Lift up your spine, look up a little bit. Don't drop the head, just open up the chest. Shoulder blades are very close to each other. Inhale here and exhale, release. On your next inhale, you're gonna lift up the left leg, bring the leg close to the body or just lift up the leg. If it's possible, bring it close to the body and exhale the foot down. Inhale, both arms coming up for your downward facing dog. Leaning forward with the exhale. Look down, shoulders are dropped. The spine is straight, so the arms are aligned with the ears if it's possible. And looking down to align the neck with the shoulders. Tuck your belly in so you can hold your lower back. And exhale, hands to the knees and sit up tall. We're gonna inhale again, arms coming up all the way. And on your exhale, we're gonna fold once more, leaning forward with the belly first, the belly is touching the thigh. Stay halfway up with the hands on your knees or fold if it's available all the way down. Let the belly rest on your thighs. Perhaps say hi to your toes. And on your next inhale, you're gonna move the arms out to the side and come up, helping yourself with the belly. Arms going up overhead, hands together. And exhale, hands in prayer in front of your heart. You can place the hands on your thighs. Close your eyes here. And now again, scan your body, tune into your body. See what you feel. Are there any changes coming in? Is your heart beating faster a little bit? Just pause here and breathe through the nose. Just gentle breaths like you usually breathe. And feel the changes in the body. Feel, see if you can feel space in the body that you created. If you can feel any movement in the body. The heart should beat a little faster now. Your blood should go a little faster, move a little faster. And you should also feel an ease and a little lightness, but it's everybody's body different. So just observe what do you feel to see what you can observe. On your next inhale, you're gonna gently open your eyes. And we're gonna move into our side bend. So have the feet close together. You're gonna hold the chair with the left hand and with the inhale, you're gonna lift up the right arm all the way. And lift up the body, stretch the arm up, lift up your spine, inhale here. And on your exhale, you're gonna fold to the left. We are stretching the right side of the body. So feel that side body opening. We are creating room between the vertebrae here. Keep breathing here. And on your next inhale, come up. And exhale, lower the arms by your side. Throw the shoulders. Holding the chair with the right hand. Lift left arm up with the inhale. Exhale here and stretch the 
spine up, stretch the arm up, like you try to reach and lengthen your body. Inhale, and on your exhale, and fall to the side, you're folding towards the right, stretching the left side of the body. Take two deep breaths in this beautiful pose. And in this pose, you can look straight, you can look down, and you can always look up too. You can try that. Then you add in the neck movement, but whatever is comfortable, most comfortable for your neck. Inhale, come back up, and exhale, lower the hand down. Roll the shoulders. Now you're gonna cross right leg over left. You're gonna place one hand, the left hand on the right side, and you're gonna send the right hand back. If it's too much to send the right hand back and uh, grab the back of the chair, you can just have the hand holding the chair, okay? We're gonna do a twist pose here. You're gonna inhale before you twist and lift up your spine. And on your exhale, you're gonna turn your body and twist to the right. Looking back towards the right shoulder, you can always press the left hand into the right thigh. That's gonna help you twist a little deeper, but don't force it. You should be able to take a deep breath in this pose. If you can't, then you went too far. Come back a little bit more, okay? Listen to your body. Another in-breath here, and with the exhale, turn back to the center and let go of the chair. Uncrossing the legs. We're gonna cross left over right. Place the right hand on the left thigh and reach back with the left hand to hold the back of the chair or you can hold the side of the chair. Inhale here, lifting up the spine before you twist. And on your exhale, you're gonna to twist to the left, looking back towards the left shoulder. Feel your spine and take a few breaths and when you breathe, feel the breath moving up and down your spine here. On your next inhale and exhale, you're gonna let go and turn to the center. Uncrust the legs, square your hips, roll the shoulders. You're gonna reach back now with both hands. And if it's available, you're gonna interlace the hands in the back. If it's not available, try to hold on to your elbows or you can just hold the back of the chair, okay? So you can do this too. Just holding the chair, okay? The side of the chair. You're gonna lift up your spine and open up the chest and look up. Or if you're holding the hands, interlace the hands, send the hands back. If you're holding your elbows, just sit up tall and open the chest. You can look up or straight. Exhale, this is your cobra pose, just for a little chest opener here. And now we're gonna place our hands on our chest and we're gonna do a little massage here for the chest. So press your fingertips and you're just like trying to open up your chest, press the fingertips into your chest and massage here. It's a really beautiful opening. And we are working with the little blood vessels here. This massage helps Wake up the blood vessels in our chest. Bring a little more blood and oxygen here in this part of our body. And now you can just pat, pat, pat your fingertips on your chest. It feels really nice. Just a little more opening up here. And you're gonna release the hands, close your eyes and focus on your chest. See if you can feel anything in your chest. See if you can still feel your fingers there or the opening up in your chest. See if you can sense the space you created. If you can sense the light in your chest. Gently open your eyes. We're gonna start doing our uh, standing poses. If the standing poses are too hard for you, you can always just sit in a chair and do the poses in the chair. We're gonna work with the legs a little bit and with the balance. So if it's available, you can stand up. Otherwise, you're welcome to sit in the chair. Come to the right side of the chair. <clears throat> We're gonna have the feet a little bit, uh, keep distance, not uh, just a foot apart or feet together. 
see what your body needs here. And on your next inhale, you're going to lift up the right leg. You're going to start making circles with the right foot. Just little movements, one direction. Pause and reverse. So when you do this movement in the chair, you can just sit in the chair, lift up the leg and just do a little circle with the, with the knees bent, okay? Pause here. You're gonna start to bend one knee at a time to shake your hips a little bit from side to side. And we'll go to the left side of the chair. You're gonna hold the chair with the right hand, feet a little bit apart or together. You're gonna lift up the left leg and start to make a few circles with the left leg, one direction. You can always bend the standing leg. Pause here and reverse the movement. So the standing back leg can be bent a little bit if it's too much on your, on your foot here to stand with the leg straight. Pause, place the foot down and bend one at a time. Okay. Now we're gonna go back to the right side of the chair. We're gonna do our tree pose. So feet together or a little bit apart. If you have wider hips, it's probably more comfortable and maybe it can give you more steadiness if you have the feet a little bit apart. If you have the feet together, it's a little bit harder because you have to balance more. So we're gonna do our tree pose. We're gonna lift the right heel and place the right heel on the left shin. You can stay here in this tree pose at this uh, level, this version, or you can place the whole foot on the shin. Find your focal point on the ground and start to focus your mind here and focus your balance. If you feel steady, you can work more with the balance by letting go of the chair or just lift one arm up. Or if you are here, you wanna challenge yourself a little more, you can lift both arms up. If you're in a chair, you can do three pose in the chair, feet together, and you just place the heel on the shin, and you can just lift both arms up, okay? So see what works for your body. Keep breathing in your beautiful three pose. One more breath here. And on your exhale, you can lower your arm down, place the foot down, and again, bend one knee at a time, you can always shake the legs, shake them out. And you can go to the other side of the chair. And we're gonna do the other leg. So feet again together, a little bit apart, see what is better for your body. How we can get more uh, balance here. And then you're gonna start lifting up the left heel and place it on the right shin or place the whole foot on the shin. Find the focal point on the ground. And when you feel steady and ready to move on with the next phase, then you can do so. Either letting go of the chair or lifting one arm up or lifting both arms up. If you're sitting in a chair, you're doing the opposite leg and you can lift both arms up. This is not a race. Everybody does whatever their body is ready and whatever your body tells you to do. Drop your lifts, drop your arms, and bend one knee at a time. This is beautiful in yoga. The yoga really tells us, you know, the connection with the body, what we need to do, what our body needs, and we have to listen to that. It's not like somebody can do better or worse. Stay there, I'm just gonna turn the chair so you can see from uh, the side, you can see the side view. So that's what I love about yoga. I never was in a competitive sports team ever. I skied a little bit, but nothing else. So yoga really is my thing. Okay, so we're gonna stay at, behind the chair. We're gonna do our cat and cow standing. If this is too much for your feet, sit down and do again the cat and cow pose, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna inhale and lift up your heels here. Stretch the legs, open your chest, look straight or look up, and exhale, lower down your heels, and lift up your toes, looking down to your toes. 
Inhale, lift up the heels. You can just lift up the heels a little bit. Open up the chest. You don't have to lift all the way up. Listen, listen to your body, okay? Maybe an inch off the floor. That's good too. And exhale, lower the heels down and lift up the toes. Maybe an inch off the floor or maybe more. So listen, what your body needs, what your body wants to do today. One more time, inhale, come up on your toes, stretch the legs, open up the chest, look up or straight. And exhale, lower the heels down, lift up your toes, look down to your feet. And on your next inhale, come up. Walk in place, lifting one leg at a time. Listen, listen, your body is so much wiser than me. Your body can tell you what to do, okay? I'm just helping you, you know, with some instructions here, but you listen to the body first. Okay, feet are gonna be hip distance apart. We're gonna step back with the right leg, just about uh, one and a half foot. And you're gonna have the toe on the ground, or if it's available, you can lift up the foot an inch off the floor and stay here holding the chair. Bend the standing leg a little bit, or you can keep the toes down. See what works for your body. And if you're ready, you can also stretch the arms and balance more, work with the balance. You can keep the toes down and just lift the arm. And exhale, lower the hands down, step back to the chair, walk in place. I'm gonna turn to the other side so you see my left leg. And we're gonna do the left side. You are stepping back with the left leg about one and a half foot apart, not too far. And you can have the toe, uh, you can have the toe on the ground, or you can lift the toe up an inch off the floor. If you lift up the toe, it's good to bend a little bit, bend, micro bend the right knee, okay? Or even if you have the toe down, see what works you better for your body. See where you can find a better balance, okay? On your next inhale, if it's available, if you feel stable, you can lift the left arm. And feel this lengthening on the body. You are balancing here. Take two breaths. And exhale, lower the hand, lower the leg, and step back towards the chair. And just walk in place. Okay. And now we're gonna go back and sit down in our chairs. We did a little leg work here. We worked a little bit with the balance. And now you can rest your back against the chair, close your eyes and pause here for a few breaths. And now you send your focus on your lower body. See how the legs feel. See how your feet feel. And just observe that if you have any sensations in the legs, in the lower body, just observe that for a little bit. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. We got to come away from the back of the chair, sitting up tall. Sit still closer to the back of the chair because you're going to start lifting the legs so you have support for your thighs. Spine is straight here. With the inhale, you're gonna lift up right leg, stretch the leg, and you're gonna lift up left arm. And we're gonna do lifting legs, alternating the legs and the arms. Exhale, lower the leg and the arm. Inhale, lift up right arm, left leg. Exhale down. Inhale, opposite leg, opposite arm. Exhale down, inhale up. And if you want, you can speed up the movement a little bit. Do it on your own. Lifting one leg at a time, alternating. Keep breathing. It's like we're marching in the chair. And exhale, lower the leg, lower the hands. <clears throat> and now you're gonna inhale and lift both legs up. Have the feet together, knees together, and feel the strength in the legs. And you can inhale, lift the arms up too if this is available. Take a breath here and exhale, lower the arms down by your side, lower the legs. Now you're gonna inhale, lift your arms, lift the legs, breath and movement. 
Exhale, lower the arms, lower the legs. Inhale, lift the legs, lift the arms. Exhale, lower the legs, lower the arms, and pause here. You can close your eyes. And again, focus on your body, focus on your breath. Perhaps you can feel your heartbeat. Just stay with that sensation. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. You can do another massage on your thighs or do a little pet, pet, pet on your thighs to release the tension from the thighs. But this movement is really good even if you sit in a, on your couch or sit in a chair and you're watching your TV. Sometimes it's just good to lift the legs up a little bit because you try and strengthen your quads with this exercise. And that's help with your knees to protect your knees. So if you have uh, healthy, strong muscles in your quad, then your knees can get a little bit of protection. Okay, it's hard. Sometimes it was even for me. It was really hard to strengthen my my quads. They're still not strong enough, but a little bit working on it, a little bit at a time. Okay. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna inhale, lift up the right leg, and now we're gonna interlace the hands behind your <clears throat> knees. Bring the knees high up, inhale, and with the exhale, you're gonna stretch the leg as far as it goes. It doesn't need to be stretched all the way, but it feels good sometimes to stretch the leg. Inhale, bring the knee up, bend the knee. Exhale, stretch it out. Inhale, bring the knee up, bend the knee. Exhale, stretch it out. One more time. Inhale, bring the knee up. And exhale, stretch the leg out. Okay, place that foot down. Now we're gonna do the left side. <clears throat> I'm sitting a little bit closer to the edge of the chair, so try if that works better for you. Sometimes this movement, it's better if you don't sit all the way. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Interlace the hands below the knee. Bring the knee close to the body, inhale. And with the exhale, stretch that leg out as far as it goes. Inhale, bring the knee up, bend the knee. Exhale, stretch it out. Inhale, bring the knee back and up. Exhale, stretch it out. Inhale, bring the knee up. Exhale, stretch it out and lower the foot down. Okay, square your hips. We're gonna do another twist pose here. So let's cr cross right leg over left. <clears throat> and you're gonna place both hands on the right thigh. Lift up your spine here. Inhale, and with the exhale, you're gonna twist to the right. Looking towards the right shoulder. Take a breath here. And on your exhale, turn back to the center. On, press the legs. Now you're gonna cross left over right. Place both hands on the left thigh. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, twist to the left. Look back. Take another deep breath here, inhale. And exhale, come back to the center. On, cross your legs. Square your hips, you can lift one leg at a time. <clears throat> and you can sit back a little bit more towards the end of the chair, towards the back of the chair. And on your next inhale, lift both arms up. Bend the elbows. And the elbows are shoulder height if it's available, otherwise lower them a little more. Spread your fingers here. Open up your chest. Inhale, and on your exhale, you're gonna to start to move your elbows down in a straight line. Get your shoulder blades closer to each other and moving your elbows down. Your spine is straight. And move the elbows all the way down to touch your, uh, the side of your body. Okay, and then lower your hands. <clears throat> okay. Now we're gonna inhale, lift up your right arm and bend the arm and if it's possible, touch your shoulder. Now we're gonna have the left hand the palm is facing back and you're gonna lift, <clears throat> reach back. So <clears throat> if you can touch the two hands, it's okay. Otherwise just stay here, open up your chest, 
for the next class, if you have uh, a belt or a yoga belt available, that would be good because we can do this pose. This is a beautiful back opening pose, okay? And now release the arms, lower the arms down, roll the shoulders. So if you have next week any kind of belt, or if you have a yoga belt like this, with a little um, thing at the end, that would be good because then we can do the pose with the belt, okay? Today we're just gonna do it so you have an idea. But for next class, please have a belt, okay? Any kind, you can have a belt from your, uh, from your bathroom too, okay? Or even you can have a scarf, okay? So let's do the other side. Lift left arm up and bend the elbow and just pat, pat, pat your back, touch your back. And if you can, lift the elbows as high as possible. And now send the right arm back. The palm is facing up and just like when you put your arms behind you. Send the arm back. Open up the chest and lift up the chest here. Take a few breaths here. And on your exhale, lower your arms down and roll the shoulders. <clears throat> when I had a shoulder injury, I couldn't touch my hands at one, you know, on one side. But after keep practicing, now I'm back to normal. <laughs> my normal, you know, like being able to touch my fingers. <clears throat> but sometimes, you know, if you drive, like I had one of my teachers, she was driving a stick shift car and she was keep, you know, using the shoulder and her shoulder was always out and in the front. She got a shoulder injury and she wasn't able to do this pose at all. So she couldn't touch her hands. But after, you know, working and shoulder opening and working with this pose, that's called the cow, sp cow space pose then she was able to, you know, touch more and more. That means she opened up her chest, you know, her shoulder went back to the normal place where the shoulder should be in the socket. And then she was able to do the pose. It takes practice. But here she got there, it took her a couple of years, maybe 30 years, and then she was able to fix it in two years. So it's a miracle what our body can do. Always hope, okay? Just keep moving. All righty. Let's do one more twist here and then we can do our relaxation. So inhale, stretch your arms out to the side. And on your exhale, we're just gonna do a gentle twist. Turn your arms back and look towards your right fingertips. Inhale, come back to the center. And on your next exhale, you're gonna twist and turn to the left. Just send the left arm back. Look at your fingertips. Inhale here and exhale, come back to the center. Lower your arms down. And we gotta do the hip stretch. We have to do the hip stretch. Okay. So come closer to the edge of the chair. Feet hip, dis hip distance apart. Cross one leg, right over left. Or if it's available, place the right leg on top of the left knee. The right shin, uh, the right ankle, sorry. Flex the foot here. And you can sit up tall. And if you already feel the hip stretch, just stay here. Or if you feel the hip stretch, stay here. In the inhale and exhale, you can start to lean forward in either the poses. So if you are here with the legs crossed at the ankles, you can lean forward a little bit. You're gonna feel a little more hip stretch. Or if your ankle is on top of your knee, if you lean forward, you're gonna feel a deeper stretch in the hip too. So see what works for your body, what your body needs. If you're very flexible, you can place both hands on your, on your legs. If this is not painful, and lean forward a little more and let the weight of your hand push down the leg. And always getting the belly closer to the thigh. We are folding. We are not grounding or arching our spine, okay? Keep the spine straight always in each and every forward bend. That's going to help you protect your lower back, okay? You can look down here. So your neck is aligned with the spine. If you're leaning forward, you don't crank in your neck here. And feel the opening in the hip. Sending a few deep breaths in the hip. It should be a very pleasant hip opening. If it's too much, come out of the pose. You should not feel pain here. If it's pain, come right out, okay? On your next inhale, slowly come up. Lower that foot down, squaring your hips. 
gonna go to the other side, crossing left ankle over right ankle, or place the left ankle on top of the right knee. Square the foot, flex the foot here so the knee is protected, so you don't point, just flex, okay? Lift up your spine here. You can stay here if you already feel the stretch, or you can start leaning forward to feel a deeper stretch on your hip. This is really up to your body. What you need to do, you have to decide that. What is good for you and what is not good for you. You can just always stay here, okay? If this is plenty for your body, it's okay. Listen to that. Or if you have any injuries or anything, you know better than I, so please listen to the body, okay? This pose is really good if you have sciatic pain. It's a deeper stretch, I agree, but it's really good if you can do it, then it's really good for sciatic pain too. You can lower both arms on the leg for if you wanna put more weight and open up the hip a little bit more, but you don't have to. And especially if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Keep breathing, two more breaths. And on your next inhale, gently come up, place the foot down, Square your hips and sit back all the way. Sit back all the way and rest your back against the chair. And find your comfortable pose, wiggle your body till you feel very comfortable. And again, you can place the palms facing down or up. It's up to you what you wanna do. You wanna connect more and ground more with Mother Earth or you wanna connect up. You know, you wanna receive more from up from the sky, so it's up to you. Or you can have palms, the right palm resting in the left palm. This is another uh, resting pose. It's a little meditation mudra. So see what you wanna do. See where your hands want to be, okay? And you can gently close your eyes here. And take a few deep breaths to the nose to settle in. Keep breathing in the, through the nose and exhale to the mouth or nose. Now gently just place one hand on the belly. It doesn't matter which hand, just place one hand on the belly. And now you're gonna breathe in the way that your belly is gonna be lifting up. You are breathing into the belly. When you breathe in, the belly is gonna lift, gonna rise. And with the exhale, you're gonna push the belly in and do a gentle contraction on the belly. And with the inhale, you're gonna let the belly come out again, rise. And exhale, you're gonna contract the belly. You're gonna move the belly in gently. And do a few more on your own. This is abdominal breathing. We are not breathing into our abdomen but we are bringing the air all the way to the bottom of the lungs and using more our diaphragm, the muscle that's involved in our breathing process. So this breath is really calming. Don't force it, just let it happen. You don't have to go all the way to your edge, just let gently the belly rise and the belly moves in. This is a very, very calming breath. So if you feel a little anxious, you can do this breath. And if you have your hand on your belly, then you can get a better connection. You don't have to have the belly, the hand on the belly all the time. You can place the hand back and try breathing this way without the hands on your belly. But when we have the belly, the hand on the belly, then we can bring a little bit more awareness there. This is a beautiful breath. And now you're just gonna observe your natural breath cycle. Breathe the way you usually breathe every day. You're gonna start to do another quick scan over your body. How the body feels now after the class after the movements, the practice, the stretches. Just 
Check back with those places where you felt tension or holding at the beginning of the class. See if you still have the holding there or the tension. If you do, then keep letting go with the exhale. And you can sense perhaps the spaces you created, the opening you created between the joints, in the muscles, in the body. Now you're gonna focus your attention at the top of your head. You're gonna start relaxing the skull. Relax the muscles of your face. Relax your jaw, your eyes and your eye sockets. Relax your ears, your neck, your shoulders, your chest your upper back, relax your upper arms, your shoulders, relax your forearms and your hands and your fingers, relax your belly, your stomach, your abdomen, your lower back, relax your hips, your thighs, your knees, your shins, your calves, your feet and your toes. And let your body melt in the chair. And with every exhalation, just go deeper and deeper in this relaxation. And let any holding go. You are supported, the chair is there to support you. The earth is there supporting your feet. And just relax your body. Now you're gonna to start to turn your focus inwardly, focusing on your heart. And with the inhale, imagine a beautiful light comes into your heart. And with the exhale, you spread this light from the heart, moving into your body, all the extremities, and bringing this light, sending this light into your body, all the parts of your body. And visualize this breath for a few more rounds, inhaling light, and from the heart, sending light out into the body. This is the healing light to your healing breath. Just visualize this for a few more rounds in silence. Now you're gonna take a deep in breath to the nose. And you can exhale with a side through your mouth. And lengthen that exhalation and let go of everything, any holding. In your next inhale, you're gonna gently move the hands, move the fingers, your feet. You can lift up your feet from the ground. Rotate the ankles, point your toes, a little movement in the body to wake up. And when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. You're gonna sit up tall. Inhale, both arms coming up. And on your exhale, hands together and exhale, hands in front of your heart. Bow to your heart. Bow to the peace inside of you, to your beautiful selves. Namaste. Bowing to the divine in you. And namaste, honoring each other bowing to the divine and the beautiful light inside of all of you. So Bogey, can you see this? Just one second. <laughs>